Today, I'm gonna to teach you guys how to do a garland. Now, I have, I think, 35 at last count Christmas videos on how to decorate your home for Christmas. It's Christmas time. But do you know that I've never actually taught you how to put your garlands together? I've shown you my garlands on my staircases and in my client staircases, but I've never shown you actually how to make one. I want to give you ideas that you can use in your own home and in your own Christmas decorating. So today, I'm going to take you through how I do a garland. I think this is about a 9 or 10 foot garland. and. This is really um, nicer than most, but here's the key. You always have to unfurl. See, when these come out of the box, they're pretty much like that, right? And that's how people put them on their fireplaces and staircases, no. We make the little, little hairs and little arms straight. If you look at this garland, as much as I love the pine look of it and how airy it is, it's too airy. I think that it's too open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another kind of garland to it. This actually has, again, a woodsy look to it, but they're, I think they're plastic. Oh, plastic and they fall apart. Well, this is a cheap one. So these are not as long as my main garland. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is find the halfway point to your garland. What I would probably do is just take a little piece of something. I don't care what it is. I'm just going to use some ribbon because it's right here and I'm going to tie a knot there, and that's going to show me where my midpoint is. So I'm going to take this one and start with my twig part. Here's the end, see? This is the part you want to go off the end of your mantle or at the end of your staircase because it has a pretty finish to it. This does not. And I'm going to put this right in the center where I have my ribbon. So right here, I'm going to tie this one on, and before I tie it, I'm going to get the other side right here and tie this one. And I'm gonna make a knot and just make sure that these end up being symmetrical this way. Now what you do is you take this one and you wind it into the base. What I'm gonna do is use the arms of the base to help me keep it together. You take this right here and you're gonna just take it and twist it. That alone will keep that garland in place. Oh, so when that happens, when one comes off, look at, basically what this is, is this is wire with hair on it. Use it. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to really seriously use it, almost like a twisty tie. All right, and you end up, look how that worked out. It ends up almost in the same exact spot at the end. I'm going to take these branches, bring them around, and twist. If you were going to be putting this on your staircase, I recommend lighting it when it's flat, but actually adding the ribbons and all the ornaments and stuff when it's already hanging, because then you can swag it the way you want to, and you'll know where you want your clumps of things. And I usually clump it where it attaches to the railing. So let's say this is where it would attach. I would do a beautiful arrangement here, let it swag to the next one, attach it here, do another beautiful arrangement, and then let it go off to the end. The very first thing you need to do is you need to plug in your lights to make sure that they work. All right, you see that? Look, yay, we got lucky this year. These lights still work, thank God. All right, so this appears to be my midpoint. And guess where I'm gonna put that? At the midpoint. Let's see if we can make it all the way through this tutorial without lights going out. Wouldn't that be a first? Now you can see why having this ribbon here was a very good idea. I'm going to tie this right onto the center. The reason you start with the center and work your way out is, well, I learned this the hard way. If you start at one end and you're putting these in the way you think it looks really good, and then you like end up with this much garland at the end with no lights, not good. All right, so this pretty much goes to the end. I'm gonna take my cord here and I'm going to use my garland as a twisty tie. That's so cool. When I discovered that, that made my life easier. And I do it on the other side as well. One of the things I learned from my mother, well actually everything I learned from my mother, my mother is the most amazing designer and Christmas designer in particular. 
I grew up with very beautiful, magical Christmases when I was a child. And one of the things she taught me is it's what you do with what you got. It's not what you got. All right, so this is what we got and this is how we're gonna do it. The important thing is coming up with a color scheme and an idea of the look that you want. Now I've figured, well for one thing I actually have those things here with me. I think I'll do this in a traditional color scheme, although my office is not going to be traditional. My office is going to be in lime green, gold, silver, and clear. You guys have seen me use real grapevine wreath in my Christmas trees and my decorating over the years. Well, this is some that I bought that's actually artificial and it has the wires in it. It's meant to look like grapevine wreath, but the cool thing is you have a lot more control over it because it's not natural. I'm gonna take this side and put it in the center like I did before, and I'm gonna take this side and have it go the opposite direction. gives it a really, um, I, don't, I call it nutty. <laughs> nutty, it's a bit nutty. And uh, it just gets kind of crazy. It just sort of wraps around and does its own thing. I like to use ribbons and bows and also some things, picks that have some glitter in them. These are picks that I pick up from the local floral supply. This is gonna go back into that center section and lay down here. Yummy? Mm -hmm. And I will use my garland as my twisty ties to hold it in place. And then do one the opposite direction on this side. And you just kind of lay it down inside, nestle it into the center area. I'm not done. We're gonna go to ribbon, two different kinds. I like to use uh, floral wire right here. See, these have already been pre-cut and pre-used, so we'll see what we can come up with based on what I actually have this year. I even re-wrap all of my ribbons from Christmas presents too because it's expensive. I have a really a couple of really great videos on how to wrap, aha, how to wrap Christmas gifts and those are very, very helpful and I actually show you step by step how to do a bow. I'm going to do it now so watch carefully because I'm going to go quick, okay? Twisting is the key to this type of bow. Gather it up and twist it. Now, I don't have enough to make another side, so that's fine, I'll just leave it like that. We're gonna stop with this, and I'm going to take my floral wire. This is probably why it doesn't cut fabric so well, because I use it for everything. And I'm going to twist. It's all about the twisting. I'm going to set this here. I'm not gonna actually place it in yet because I wanna do another layer of red ribbon and I'm gonna show you the difference. Do you see the difference? Look at it in front of the lights. <gasps> Ready? Look at that. This also has the wire edges in it. This is really easy because it's so thin that you can uh, make these bows really, really fast. And I'll give myself a nice long tail. I'll use my floral wire again, put it around the front, wrap around to the back, pull tight, and what's the word, glass? Twist. Okay. Take a look at what happens when I place this one inside of this one. I get a layered look. I'm gonna take the wires from this and I'm going to add it to the top of this. Bring it around the back side and twist. Now I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna wrap it around that very center where the two garlands come together. Twisting, twisting, twisting. Now you can take these lights and you can specifically place them right behind that ribbon. And do you see how you can kind of bend your ribbon as you need to. I'm gonna take these short pieces that I have, fishtail them, and just make a single loop. Just a loop. Take some floral wire, wrap it, and add it 
along the way. Make sure you uh, keep your wire long enough so that you can wire it. You know, go around the trunk of that garland, put it on and twist it. That just kind of fits in there really pretty. I hope it looks pretty from that side. Leave me a comment below, does it look pretty? There you go. Now, let's say you wanna have something there. I'll just happen to have the perfect thing. This kind of thing you can either hot glue on, or I was able to just kind of slide it into where it's already woven. So that's pretty. Another thing that you can add is Christmas balls. I might add a beautiful ball here. Look at that. Pretty. Let's go ahead and hot glue it. Let's make this puppy permanent. All right, you just add hot glue to the end, stuff it in there and let it dry. And this can kind of come around and come peeking through. And we also have smaller, these are ones I cut off, smaller little poofs of greens, sparkly things in them. So that looks pretty. So that's basically very gently placed in there. I'm trying to teach you concept or the principles of how to do a garland. If this was the top of my thing, I would probably have something that hangs up. I got something, hold on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. How pretty would that be? Isn't that cute? So from the center, I might hang this little guy and that gives you like a focal point to your, whatever this garland's going on. Maybe it's over the door. More gold balls. This is just a, like a sample one because I'm not actually using this this year. Want me to send it to you? Okay. Just leave me a comment and say, please send me that. We'll see. <laughs> Do you believe it's Santa? And then maybe a, you know, another ball here and pine cone here. And I hope that this little tutorial demonstration of how to do a garland has been helpful for you. Come back because I am going to be working today on the garland that's actually going in my new office. And we're going to do an office walkthrough that I think you're going to love. All right, you guys have a very Merry Christmas and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.